Oh my god. I thought that guy was wearing a fort armor on for a second. Really looked like it. Get a lion on? And a Geiger? I have no other meds, man. All right. And I'd love to shoot at this guy. But I have to, like, I have to think about it. Like, do we want to attack this person and try to get a painkiller that way? Because if we don't find them, then we're fucked. We got to go find the meds. More than one? Probably not. Probably not. The streamer loot skill, if there's no one in these windows, we're gonna be okay. But if there's someone in these windows, we're already dead. Oh. Oh, there's a guy right there. Damn, I need the morphine. Fuck, there's no morphine. Oh, all right. I would like to go after that other guy, but we don't, we don't have time. We're locked on. Look at this, they're shooting me through the rooms. What the fuck is going on there? The scavs are broken and they're locked onto me. They're dialed in. So no matter where I am, they're gonna start shooting at me through the walls. They might not hit me, but they're gonna try. Look at that streamer loot perk. They want slob, that slob ass. Look at that streamer loot perk. The streamer attention elite perk. They're hunting me down, there should be more. Might be more too, might be a pistolier here soon. The fetus. Pistol glitching scumbag. You're either good or bad in Siege? Yeah, I never got into it. For me though, the perfect stream game needs to be something that can be enjoyed solo. Solo and with groups of two, sometimes three. Any sort of game that is really good for that and can be enjoyed watching in that format. Is a good game to stream. The well, Rocket League's a good game to stream. Yeah, Rocket League's good. Great. I think Rocket League's one of those games. I think we killed that guy. Ooh, Siege is the sweatiest game there is. Dude, CSGO is the sweatiest game there is. Let's be real. I actually kind of like CS, how it plays, but I got out of it because of how sweaty it is. Unbelievable. What's wrong with my meds? My meds are like misbound.
So that's a player scav. Need more ammo. Oh shit. Did I just drop that guy off a single hit? No, he's still alive, isn't he? No. Dead. Yeah, this dude had the eye cup on there. Everyone's got the SKs. Man, I didn't even... I wasn't able to complete my mission. That's fine. Uh... Well... Now, we can complete our mission. We have time. So the mission that we're after is to complete healthcare privacy so we can unlock a medical case so I can take up less space in my inventory holding onto meds Sullivan's multi-purpose medical tools because it usually takes up a lot of space at the very top of my stash and it just kind of turns into a giant mess so healthcare privacy is not that difficult to complete most of the quests can be completed in just a few hours but the catch is you need to complete the task with three gunpowders and those gunpowders need to be placed on factory and can't be stored in my container so it's a bit of a lengthy process but we're getting there yeah, PayPal, I mean, PayPal has it fixed to a certain degree, but that's that's one of the reasons why bits are a thing. It's one of the reasons why bits exist. People that were really targeted by chargeback trolls removed their donation button and would just accept a bit, like bit donations. Yeah, and G2A, I used the G2A wallet back in the day that didn't allow for chargebacks. The SKS really has been shining for me lately, especially with like all the changes to the ammunition and the armor. 7.60 by 39 has really been my go-to budget round this patch so far. I've been really switching away from using an AK-74M. I'm not saying that it's a bad weapon, I just find that I'm getting more reliable kills using the Vepr, SKS, and AKM variants. It's also important to mention that 7.62 by 39, or just the round that's used in the SKS, is one of the most common rounds to find while killing scavengers. Most scavs have a Vepr 136 on them, it seems, or an SKS, and it's very easy to just unload those magazines and grab them. As well as a lot of other players are running very similar builds to what I'm running too. Beginner players are using Vepers and SKSs. Intermediate and expert players are running AK-103s and AKMs. So the ammunition is everywhere and that is important whenever you're considering the fact that I can't buy any ammunition. So patch point nine is coming around the corner. So what does that mean for the hardcore challenge? Well, the characters are going to be partially wiped, so everything will be wiped except for individual reputation levels for each trader. I'm not too sure 
exactly what is going to be happening with that if we're going to be having to do the tasks over again if we're going to be receiving all the task rewards at the very start of the character it's sort of up in the air at this point but basically certain trader reputations will be saved everything else won't be so most likely the pmc task grind will continue for next patch for those that wish to seek it out but i do plan on doing a season three next patch Basically, whenever we unlock all the content, we complete all the new tasks and experience everything that is new on a regular PMC, we'll be starting a brand new hardcore account following slightly different rules, kind of adjusting the rules as I go. There's one that I really like when it comes to utilizing euros for item cases, just a few minor changes, um, updating the rule list a little bit, um, just you know, to make sure that it's fun and still challenging. But I don't really think I say this enough. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos and staying supportive and spreading this around to your friends. My channel grows by word of mouth uh, advertising. I don't really go above and beyond to do any ridiculous collaborations or advertisements or anything like that. So honestly, this community lives and breathes through your support and I do appreciate that. So if you watch the streams on a regular basis or watch the YouTube videos, and subscribe here to the channel. I just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me and being supportive and making this dream a reality. If you enjoyed the video, you can watch the entire hardcore series by subscribing and following the playlist here on YouTube, as well as checking out the daily live streams every single morning starting at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at noon. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTuber or a streamer on Twitch or Mixer or YouTube, I have a Slobcast podcast that's specifically for new streamers. So if you want to learn more about what goes on behind the scenes and how to become a better broadcaster, you can listen on iTunes, Google Play, uh, Stitcher, or on YouTube. I'll include links to that in the description box below.